Happy St. Patty's Day. Yes, this is blue, but I'm wearing green underwear, so don't worry about it. We're gonna do a corned beef brisket today. Now, a beef brisket or a corned beef brisket is typically brined in salt. It's also called salty beef. And we're gonna do it on the grill, in direct heat, and infuse a little bit of smoking. We usually do it by boiling it or doing it in a crock pot with the cabbage, and that's good. But we're gonna do it on the grill. So I thought I'd show you how to do it. Probably a day late and a dollar short because I'm not filming this until St. Patty's Day, and by that time, you'll have already eaten your corned beef. But uh, I think this is worth doing. Anytime you see corned beef for sale or on sale at the store, grab it. You can freeze it uh, or use it any time of the year. It's good stuff. So I've got my corned beef right here. Got it for uh, $2.99 a pound, which is a pretty good deal. All I'm gonna do is open it and let this thing soak in water for about an hour just to reduce the saltiness. And we're gonna put it on the grill after we apply some rub. Let it cook, that's about it. Be right back. All right, this is the uh, corned beef. And it's it's kind of an interesting story how it got the name corned beef. When they cured beef back in the day before refrigeration, they used salt. And the salt was as big as corn kernels, so it got called corned beef. Kind of interesting. But now it's just done for taste. So anyway, we're just gonna season it with uh, some coarse black pepper. This is the fat cap side. We'll cook it or grill it with the cap side up so that those fats kind of melt down into the meat. It did soak for about an hour and a half to kind of lessen the salt on the inside of the meat and it is now at room temperature. All right, we've got the chimney going here and uh, I got to use this handle, this glove, because my uh, wooden thing broke off today. And what I do is use use a piece of hickory as my divider, and it also gives some smokiness. And now I take the beef, corned beef, put it on indirect heat, a little too close to the heat. Hard to see stuff through this camera. Oh, fat side up. Forgot about that. Now we put the lid on. In about an hour, sorry about this camera angle, in about an hour we're gonna come out, hour and a half, come out and wrap it in foil after we've got the smokiness into it. So we don't dry it out too bad, so we'll be right back. All right, it's been about an hour. So we just wanted to come out, get a temperature. We're gonna cook it until it hits about 185, 180, 185. We're at about probably 130 to 135 now. So we're gonna turn it and uh, not turn it not flip it, but turn it for more even cooking, and uh, we'll put the lid back on. And then in about an hour, hour and a half, about a half an hour, 45 minutes, we'll be putting on the aluminum foil. Okay, we, we've uh, had it on for roughly two and a half to three hours. In the last 45 minutes, I wrapped it in foil to keep it moist. All right. Ooh, that smells good. Okay, we got to be careful with these fluids. All right, you wanna cut it on a diagonal. And here's what it looks like, the end product. Ooh, perfect. We have a nice smoky taste because I can smell the smoke. As can I. Cameraman can smell the smoke. Woman. Let's take a bite. Mm. Serve it with some cabbage, baked potato. Perfect. Give it a try. See you.